Hi, so now we're going to explore Exogen for the martial arts. As I mentioned before, our good friend Pete here, an MMA fighter here in Asia. He's going to be demonstrating and trialing a little bit as well. Pete's had a little bit of introduction to the product as, as well. We've never had him loaded up with the full suit, so again, this is a first time experience for Pete. So Pete's going to uh, take us through just some of the movements you're doing. Yeah, we're just going to do very basic stuff, just like one, two combinations, like uh, throwing a bit of wrestling for some contact, because yep. you want to see what, what uh, the, the Velcro basically does under, under contact is, does it come off, does yep. it stay there? And we, you know, we've, we've had this, we've had this in full contact rugby drills in New Zealand. Uh, it's a contact based outfit, so we're comfortable with that, but Pete will be showing you that as he goes. Indeed, indeed, and I, I mean, with, with the contact, these things don't come off when the Exogen skeleton is, is naked, essentially. Yeah. So if you put something over the top, it's even better. Yeah, cool. But um, the, the loadout right now, uh, I've got quite a few weights on. It's basically just about um, seeing, you know, how it feels. I mean, is there any restriction to my movement, so on and so forth, and uh, does everything feel heavier? And it, it should do. How, mu how much weight do you think you have on you? I'm not really sure. Take a guess. A couple of kilograms, maybe about two to three. Two to three, that's yeah, closer to four, about four, four and a half kgs of weight. So you've got almost 10 pounds, that's a massive load. So Pete, you're 80 kilo guy. So I'm currently walking with a suit on it around my uh, after fight, after weigh-in sort of weight when I've splurged and I've got a lot of uh, extra meat left on cool. me. Well, so let's give it a now. shot, you guys. Okay, so we're just gonna start off like with one, two. So I'm gonna step in, so left, right. About chin height here. Okay. Still feel sharp. It's still quite fast. I think it might be the loading direction. Okay, one, two, and then left hook. So in. Okay. So it still feels good. It feels heavier on the load up. It just feels like a heavier me, really. Okay, left, right, left kick. So you're going to have to move back for the kick. Feels fine. Kicks feel good. No difference, really. Just moving a heavy version of myself around. Pete, how'd that feel? Just some of the basic movements you were doing? Oh, that, that feels absolutely fine. There's no, like, um, it just feels like a heavier me. Yep. I'm used to this sort of weight, more around the stomach sort of area. Yep. But it's good to have it uh, out on the limbs where it's actually useful uh, yep. to where you know, What's, wor what's to working, yeah. yeah. So how did the punch feel in terms of power? Now you loaded here, as we mentioned. This is proximal loading for speed. Can you feel that effect where the initial motion is heavy? And there's a still a finishing snap? It, it, feels, it feels okay, still feels fast and fluid because I use the full body motion to get in on the strike. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, it feels a bit pulled back in the pole. It's actually yeah. pretty rapid still. And uh, so I, I felt it on the hook more because uh, my long style of hook, it requires to pull across and I can feel the weight there. Like, oh, yeah, oh, for oh. sure, especially in that shoulder. Yes. And what's really important for everybody to know too is although it's light loading, it's still loading. And resistance at high speed can be just as injurious as heavy resistance in the gym. So you want to make sure you're loaded. Now, Pete's pretty well seasoned. This isn't how you'd start out, but let's continue on, Pete. Show us a few more things. And uh, yeah, just to show us what you've got. Okay, let's- Don't uh, knock them out. Let's try a, a knee, keep that up here and off to the side. I'm gonna just uh, basically throw in a knee even higher. So I'm just gonna step in and see if I can throw up my right knee here, bomb. Yeah, no, nothing, just heavier on the hips, which is good. Okay, right up kick. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's all nice, it's all nice. Um, okay, we'll try a bit more contact. So, one, two, sprawling and going for takedown. Okay, so. Absolutely fine, yeah. That's <laughs> Sorry about that. So again, as you just saw, you know, going into contact, there's not a lot of outfits that are resi not a lot of resistance you can do that kind of movement with. Yeah, I mean, if I was holding, feel? if I was to try and hold weights and do that, it wouldn't work. This is basically, you know, if I'm going to wear this, it's going to wear me down faster and yeah. condition me better. So how, how do you feel now? You're puffing a little bit, using a little it? bit more, a yeah. little bit more. I wouldn't be. I don't think if uh, I wasn't wearing it as much. Yeah, sure, for sure. So, so going back to movement, as I said, we talked a lot earlier about design being key to our uh, our, our uh, technology. Is it stopping you in any way? And honestly, I mean, are you restricted or are you feeling that? Or when you're doing these moves, are you thinking about the load and weight or are you thinking about the move? I'm thinking about the move. Uh, yeah. I, I'm just clasping my hands here like I'm not wearing anything at all, like uh, cool. as regards to weights. So I mean, normally if you've got the, the wrist weights on, if I'm doing this, it's shaking all over the place. Yeah, sure. Um, and, the, and some of the vests and earlier things, you know, it's 
all those little things that are distracting from what you're trying to concentrate on. Yeah. So when you shot, did the, did, were you feeling that movement or did it, was it just moving with you? It, it probably gave me more, more momentum. Yeah, cool. Uh, and um, it made it a little more horrible for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me ask you this from a martial arts, mixed martial arts perspective, you've got groundwork, you've got striking. What are some of the areas you think you personally might want to use it for? Um, in I mean, general, for, most, for the martial artists that are out there watching. I mean, just general jogging around, you know, just uh, loading up with a bit of weight and, and doing like uh, conditioning. Your, your conditioning. We don't, personally, I mean, I don't go for long, long runs. Yeah. Uh, the Thai guys usually go for like 10 kilometers before breakfast, but yeah. I prefer to do something a bit shorter, maybe load up. So it's just harder for me to breathe. and Higher intensity, higher less, intensity. less volume. Yes, less volume. We've got 15 minute fights. We don't need to fight for like two hours nonstop. Right, right. So we don't need to do like, you know, 100 mile runs. So from a conditioning aspect, some of that, that circuit work and the in-gym work that you do, conditioning-wise, it could work? Totally, totally. It, it would definitely work. And I mean, uh, what we do, we do a lot of, uh, of in-gym stuff. We do it on low, low, uh, low carbohydrates, essentially. So we're a bit drained. Yeah. So we don't want to have to think about doing stuff. So we do self-weight, but with additional weight, yeah. if, if you see what I mean. And that would be fantastic. It's, it just makes it much easier, there's less to think about, and you can think of nothing at that moment. And so, uh, last question I have again is, as a martial artist, do you think a product like Exogen has value for the martial arts market and the martial arts world? Is this something that could help improve people in the mixed martial arts and possibly other areas? I, I think it could, definitely, it could definitely help. I mean, any, any sort of uh, sport that requires you to have your own body movement you know, yeah. uh, not not pushing weights, for example, but like uh, if you're a sprinter, if if you're if you're like doing martial arts, you're doing kicks, if you're swimming, any anything where you're like, for example, like ballet, yeah. maybe even even that, for example, gymnastics, of course, <laughs> um, you, you'd benefit from having this. You'd have to work for less time to gain the same amount of, of uh, you know. Yeah. Sure.